Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to install the steering wheel spacer on a Yaris GR. The video came out without audio, so I had to uh, register the voice over. Okay, uh, the first thing is uh, disconnect with the negative terminal, so we're not going to have unwanted warning lights that we will have to reset. Let's go now to the steering wheel get the lamp and the flat screwdriver narrow and with this length we have now to go to pull out the airbag uh, to pull the airbag out you have to uh, unclamp three springs which are inside these uh, three little holes that I am showing you with the finger uh, they are at the back of the steering wheel so, uh, at the right left and the bottom side. Take your time, even half an hour if you need, to um, look in the little holes and find the spring you have to unclamp. This is how you have to insert the screwdriver in the hole, not uh, perpendicular, but uh, slightly, more than slightly, inclined uh, on the direction of the dashboard and on the, the direction of the floor and uh, you have to insert the screwdriver for uh, like one centimeter or two okay this is how you have to push the spring the spring is uh, not uh, helicoil it's uh, uh, straight you put the screwdriver inside the hole in this direction and you push when you feel something elastic, which is the spring itself, when you have uh, found the, the spring and uh, you push it for like uh, one centimeter, the airbag pops out, you see it, it pops out just like in the corresponding uh, section of uh, where you have pushed the spring. And now you have to do the same in the other two holes. At the bottom, you see, the other, uh, the bottom side of the airbag has pop out, and then the other, the third uh, hole. Take your time. You see the the um, screwdriver is in, inclined on the uh, against the dashboard and the floor of the car. You push. It a little bit and now all the three springs are unclamped and the airbag is out okay please uh, have a look at this uh, detail this is uh, the distance uh, that the screwdriver has to go inside uh, the this is the distance this like two inch five centimeter another detail this is how you have to grind the point of the screwdriver to better engage the clamping spring and avoid to slide away okay now we have to pull out the airbag connector uh, you cannot simply pull it out because it has a secure lock uh, which is uh, that uh, orange clip uh, that uh, you have to uh, pull out slightly and gently with a flat uh, screwdriver look that orange thing, you have to put the flat screwdriver and pull it out to unlock the connector. The connector now is going to be a bit hard. You have to pull out gently sometimes and it, it comes out. Okay, uh, now there are two more fast ones for the horn. Uh, one is white and another is uh, a small fast one but very strong to pull out. Uh, you see, always put uh, your uh, uh, left hand uh, uh, between the airbag and the steering wheel while uh, you work, because uh, you risk to scratch the steering wheel. And uh, this is the white uh, faston, which has to be unlocked by unlocking a little, uh, little clip this way you have to, 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 to work on it and uh, when you unlock uh, the, the tab 
you simply pull it out and uh, for the other faston uh, you only need, need force hold it strong uh, with uh, your hand and simply pull ok it's done now the airbag is free you have to st it's a bomb remember it so you have to store it in a safe place far from children we can simply put it on the right seat while uh, we do the job and uh, now we have to pull out the connector of the steering wheel buttons all the steering wheel buttons uh, goes to that uh, central connector on the top of the bolt you have to uh, press uh, 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 um, clip and uh, it comes out by itself it's a black connector look with 12 pin and that is where you have to push to unlock you simply unlock and pull and if you have a heated uh, uh, steering wheel there is another connector uh, a little bit more down that you have to unclamp in the same way and now we unlock the uh, bolt, the central bolt, just unlock it and before uh, removing the bolt um, be sure that the steering wheel slides on the steering column because uh, it may happen that uh, it's a bit hard to pull out and you, you apply more force and it comes out uh, suddenly and you can hit your face or uh, uh, pull out some uh, damage, some um, uh, some of the the wires okay now we unscrew the bolt and we gently pull out the steering wheel and help the wires slide across the slots inside the steering wheel itself look this is the look the hole and the and the shaft they have a very thin uh, uh, teeth uh, for this reason, it's mandatory that you always keep uh, the steering wheel straight. Your wheels must be straight during the operation and you have not to lose the straightness because at the end of the job, it may happen that you re-put the steering wheel on, jumping a teeth, a tooth, and you feel uh, the, the car off alignment at, at the end of the process and you will have to do again half of the procedure okay now we put the uh, the harness you find in the kit you connect it to the clock spring assembly on the car first look the connector is full OM matching and uh, one uh, one part goes in and have to make a click sound okay it's in it's in uh, uh, look this the um, Toyota put uh, for uh, unknown reason a small uh, cable tie that uh, ties a part of the harn wire and airbag wiring harness on the clock spring assembly we have to cut this uh, cable tie because it's, uh, it gets on the way of the steering wheel spacer to, and it doesn't help to insert it in now let's take the black part of the steering wheel spacer and there is a alignment to respect this flat surface must stay up and the round surface must stay on the bottom it is uh, on the steering wheel Look, you gently make the wires go inside the slot and insert the, the aluminum part in the car's steering column. Remind to keep the flat surface on the top of the spacer uh, fully horizontal to ensure that the, it matches with the wheel alignment. Now you use the original uh, bolt to tighten the, the steering wheel spacer in place you tighten it with, with, uh, with the tool, with the wrench 
and uh, you can use a uh, dyno wrench and uh, tight it at 60 um, newton, newton per meter now you can uh, put the uh, steel shaft inside the the black part of the steering wheel spacer uh, first uh, check uh, this uh, the, the flat surfaces uh, must match because if you put in one orientation they match and if you put on the other uh, twisted on the other orientation they are going never to match they will be always uh, inclined at each other because the number of the teeth of the spline of the shaft is uh, is a shot, not even. Okay, now this step is uh, very simple. You just have to insert the six uh, bolts tight with uh, the hands and then uh, tight it uh, strongly with the tool. And then at this point, the steering wheel spacer is on the car. Now you have to pour, uh, put the, um, the steering wheel on the spacer. Uh, keep uh, care that uh, okay first uh, insert the, the wires gently inside the steering wheel and pay attention not to pull even accidentally the wires from the car because uh, it's going to damage the clock spring assembly and you may hear a knowing click at the end of the procedure uh, so um, while uh, Okay, insert the wires gently on the uh, slot which is on the top of the steering wheel and when they pass it, insert the uh, steering wheel in the spacer shaft and pay attention about the flat surfaces at the top of the steering wheel and the same on the on the spacer are matching, they have to fully match. They are machined on here in the production plant to match. Pay attention, this is when you get off center and if you don't pay attention to this detail, you're going to drive with the, uh, the, the steering wheel off center and uh, you simply have to, to pull out the airbag and uh, to restore the, the alignment. Uh, that, that is the steering wheel uh, connector which you connect to our wiring harness and uh, then uh, push it gently in, uh, in the slot behind the steering wheel uh, there is uh, some room you, you, you gently make it uh, go in so you are not going to force it while in, the, um, in a short future you are going to insert the airbag because you don't want any wire to be pressed in any way there is enough room for everything please use it okay this is the bolt that we supply with the kit you simply tighten it by hand then uh, again uh, with the with the wrench or a dyno wrench at 60 newton per meter uh, have a friend help you holding the steering wheel in while and please remember that everything I'm saying now it's on uh, the um, uh, fitting instruction in English which are uh, on uh, inside the box uh, there is a QR code that points to a PDF file on our website okay now everything is on we just have to pull back the airbag in its place uh, the, the first thing is to uh, reconnect the, all the wires remember here simply is uh, fitting is the opposite, opposite of removal so first push back the uh, horn faston then push back the white connector which also belongs to the horn as you see, the original wires are already very, hum very long and uh, these wires don't need to be extended with the wire harness as we did with the uh, steering wheel buttons uh, wires. And this is... Uh, the last one is the airbag connector which has to put back uh, in its uh, socket gently 
and uh, there is only one way so because if you try to twist it and uh, insert it uh, 180 degrees it will not go in you have to push it inside and and uh, pay attention that the orange clip must be out while you push the connector in its socket okay you see the shape of the connector is only one way you push it in and then in a second moment you push in the orange clip so you you restore the security the security lock and now you can put the airbag in you have to pre-align the three pins that come out from the airbag unit with the three uh, corresponding uh, holes in uh, in the steering wheel uh, core it's uh, more uh, difficult to explain that to do the, the pin must be aligned with the the silk holes that you see there and that uh, I'm pointing with the finger is the spring that you had to unlock to pull the, the airbag out align the airbag in to to align it you simply you you, you can see the um, Toyota uh, badge not uh, off center and there is that gap before you push the airbag in and to push the airbag in is simply when you press the horn it's like when you press the horn when you are pissed off Clack, it's done, it's in. You have uh, finished the installation at this point. You have only to check that uh, the airbag has uh, its, uh, um, how can I say, mobility when you have uh, to, to press the horn. You reconnect the battery and now we are going to check if the, everything works fine in the car. So you turn it on, the airbag warning light uh, must uh, turn off after the check uh, panel uh, turn it on that is the belt uh, warning light the stalks must work and return as uh, before you, the horn must work and then the steering wheel buttons you only can check the radio when you are uh, uh, stopped with the car you can change the station, you can uh, raise the volume and you can turn on the uh, cruise control but of course uh, you will better check it later on by the way uh, the steering wheel buttons are going to to work uh, uh, all of them uh, there is uh, no way that uh, at the end of the installation only for example five uh, buttons work and uh, five not they all work or they all don't work but uh, if it's so simple to connect the the wiring harness extension that uh, and there is one way you cannot make mistake so uh, it's going uh, it's going to work for sure okay guys enjoy the new driving position if you have questions uh, just ask bye bye see you soon